highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he is let bygones be bygones. The focus now on seeding the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height but big differences in reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Damian Maia. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Gavin the Trailblazer. UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The UFC's 185-pound title is up for grabs right here, right now. Just misses with the jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the fellas. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. This is his game. 
He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Ooh, what a punch. He blocks the punch. Good early sign for Damian Maya. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Beautiful strike. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lands the right hand. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Single collar tie now. Great punch landing so much power. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Swing and a big miss by Maya. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Fighter try to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying Looking to do. Looking for a guillotine. He's attacked the guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. And there's the tap. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, 
waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Well, you're gonna have to be pretty perfect to get this guy off the throne. There he is, the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. Complete performance here tonight, and it ends with a win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Kevin the Trailblazer All right, so off the record, you'd like the champion to get it done tonight, and that is how it played out, and still UFC middleweight champion. Congratulations, Arnold. It makes you feel like you know what you're talking about, when in reality, you don't. But this guy oh, makes me feel like a professional because it's hard to bet against him. Congratulations once again, champ.